On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we talk about all the different types of kindness. I find out who Mu Deng is. And I tell Lisa one of my childhood secrets. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, <laughs> and my adorable and acclaimed mother, oh, acclaimed. Lisa. I'll take that. Mm, Thanks, yeah, you will. Jack. Deep down, I've always been a Mummy's Boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. TikTok, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my poor mother just can't get her beautiful grey hair around. <laughs> um, so I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Hmm. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So if you're in need of advice or just have a question or story that are desperate for us to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk? Aye, we can, Aye. son. Lovely. Oh. Well, hello, hello, mother. Hello, darling. Have you recovered from our last? Yes, just about. Meeting? Just about. Yeah, that was that was. Still um, can't I quite... should keep thinking of ways to describe it, and I, I keep going back to just horrible. Um, yeah, but horrible. Would just you know, about we move it. on. Um, we do. We do. And uh, next year there'll be a hotter chip. I'm not doing it. There'll again. There'll always be a hotter chip. I'm not doing it again. There was good practice for when I eventually go on hot ones. Hot ones. What's yeah. that? What do you mean? Hot Ones. What's Hot Ones? Hot Ones is a show in which celebrities are asked to go on and they're interviewed and they have to answer a question after after eating a spicy wing. But the wings get progressively spicier. Is this a joke? No, it's a huge show. It's a joke. <laughs> Is it's it a not joke? a joke. It's a it's huge. A it's a huge YouTube show, and it's great. It's really good because the interviewer oh, is like amazing. God. It's a really good concept. <laughs> Why are you ungodding it? Like, it, what? What is? I, oh, I don't know. I'm just get to see celebrities be all you know vulnerable and. Oh, what's like a really good? Sake. What clip could I show you that would oh, I don't get? Know. That would I don't turn want your to see one. That's ridiculous. Famous Gordon Ramsay oh. was on it. Oh, we can imagine what he was like. Um, can I just, just while I think of it, a few weeks ago, mm. you, and especially producer Jack, gave me a particularly hard time about the use of the word swag. Uh. And I happened to mention it to a friend of mine of my sort of age, and she said, no, of course swag is a robber with a bag of swag. And we've looked it up and it is a bloody swag bag. <laughs> Let me just flipping well tell you. You can wow. even buy them on Amazon and I nearly did. And then I thought I'm not spending £9.44 just to prove a point. But you can actually get a bag that says swag. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't do that. On it. And it has a dollar sign because it's usually full of money. So producer Jack, stick that up your bottom. I'm so glad there. you didn't buy that. You see? I nearly, I was going to buy It's probably one. just like a bag that says swag on it. No, it has, on the other side, it'll have a dollar sign because it's always full of money. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. Well, okay. There we are. Thank you. Carry on. Well, we Spit have a spot. guest Not today. again. I know. And you're not going to believe who it is. Who is it? You're not going to believe it. Aren't I? No. Why? Um, because it's none other than the man who has the number one most famous <laughs> birthday as an author on famous birthdays what? and no listeners no. you're not getting deja vu i'm He's saying again. it again arthur is here again would oh. you believe it give oh. it up for arthur from arthur the tv show oh arthur. hey hey it, what, what a, a wonderful, wonderful time, time of day play. yeah and hello, we can hello, learn to hello, oh what hello, the hell it's hello, arthur hello, oh hello. for god's sake hello, see you again. hello. I it's thought been too long. long. <laughs> Come on, friends. How's it going? Good man. Oh, I, I thought we had no, Arthur from the Ar Arthur the Aardvark. Arthur oh. the Aardvark. 
Good knowledge though. Everyone thinks he's a bear. Do they? Yep. I think it's because people would just call me, call me him me all too. the time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, actually. it made me do the meme. Yeah, <laughs> the clenched fist. The clenched fist. You love that you meme. Do? DW. DW. Having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. What the heck are you the classic on about? Song when I the... say, hey. Hey. What a wonderful kind of day. Oh. Day. You, do you not know that one? I know where it goes after we that. We can learn to work da, 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 and play and get along with each other. I know that. You've got to listen to your heart, heart listen to the beat, listen, listen to, to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see? It's a simple message oh. and it comes from the heart. Believe in yourself. That's, That's just the place, place to start. start. And I say, hey, hey. What a wonder. Another yeah. episode that's completely copyright claimed because of our perfect yeah, pitch. Perfect what a pitch. Oh, that's so sweet to hear mm. you boys singing together. It's such a really wholesome song as well. It it's is. a lovely, lovely well, song. We're considering releasing a Christmas single together at some yeah, point. Yeah. I think you should. Yeah. I fear how well it could do. My fear <laughs> is that it would definitely do better than all of my than all of your songs <laughs> together. Like, like, if me, George, Arthur and Batch did a little like silly video and a oh, song, I know huge. that would bang. Yeah. <laughs> like, it would. It it would. Um, oh. Would we do a cover or would we do our original? Mm. Original. We've got to original. do. We've got to I go think around. original. Yeah. We yeah. haven't quite original. got the voices you have, but we haven't got the voices to carry a cover. I don't know. You've got quite. You've got a nice sounding voice from that little bit I just oh, heard. Thank you. Jack was also tuning my mic. That's why. Oh, was he? Mm. Were you? <laughs> 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 no. Um, no. No. It sounded very nice. Thanks. That's all right. This is what I do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, no anyway, more food anyway. challenges today. I no, oh, my God. No, definitely no, no. not. No. You're just here to How did you feel that after that happened? Obviously, it's been a long week. Yeah, it has. I, I can just about still feel it. Oh, yeah. God. It's been a very long week. <laughs> it, it, it did hang around a bit, didn't it? Yeah. It all hung around a bit, not just that flipping chilly thing of me, Bobby. Yeah. So, Arthur, we brought you back in um, because of last time's uh, hot heatness that we weren't hot, hot heatness <laughs> that we were a bit, we were left. We got a bit behind. We didn't get yes. to do some of the things that <laughs> so we'd like we're to gonna have do done. That today. I just turned up, got tortured and got told to yes. go home. Yeah, and yeah, now, yeah. now you can go home. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now we're bringing yeah. you back so that we can finish yeah. what we started wow. yes. together. <laughs> yes, exactly. From Harry Potter. Yep. Nice. Cool. So um, I, I have a question, okay. if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, because actually, uh, oh, am I allowed to say that? Well, a friend of a friend had a date um, on via, is it Hinge? Is that the word? Mm. Um, and uh, I don't know a lot about that. And um, But then it came up that there's a word that I really don't understand to do with Hinge, which is ghosting. Uh, <laughs> ghosting you haven't heard yeah. about that no no i so, so what is that so when, well, you're, when so you just you ignore do, someone but you, had they gone on the date no no this is something separate I, it's just i got into looking at hinge <laughs> no i didn't get into oh? looking at hinge. no stop that i i <laughs> might say my, what do you mean you got into no, looking no, at hinge i i asked questions about it right. because of my friend's daughter who went on a hinge date right okay so then i thought okay i don't actually understand how this works this is very different to how it was done in my day and so i started to look into it and then this particular phrase came up and i was like well what does that mean and so what does it mean? Ghosting. Yeah. It just means you... You, you just ignore something. You just ignore yeah. and stop talking to What's them. What's it called? Cold turkey, oh, cut in contact. So, yeah, yeah, Oh, I see. Oh, so you've no been in... But is this after you've met or before you've met? After interacting in Yeah, I thought like you can't capacity. really ghost people before you've met them, I don't think. You can't... No, Can yeah, you? that's kind of true. Oh. But it tends to be like when you're involved and you sort of... There's probably some sort of expectation that they're going to be replying and... Oh, or I meeting see. you. And, and then you just go, you they ghosted, like they yeah, just I disappeared. Like, like, yeah. You That's go from, very nice. hey, how are you? Like, how's your day going? Mm. To, yes. to no nothing. text, like, where mm. are you? Seven times. And Have you, you ever done now. that? Ghosted someone? Mm. No, I don't know. Oh, I should think I not. Think so. Have you? <laughs> oh, you looked no. a bit guilty when you said that. No, no. I wouldn't do that. No. no I, I, I take, not. I have a different definition of ghosting. Oh, what's that? Oh. Whereas I haunt them. 
You fly about in yeah, your I, little... I, I, do you remember I you used to have that cheat. Casper, the little, yeah, little yeah. friendly ghost mask? Yeah. You look particularly... So that's why I confuse that. them, because I actually text them. I say, look, I'm really sorry, I'm going to ghost you. And then they're like, why? And then I stop replying. Right, okay. And now then, someone's doing it to you and turning up at the foot And then, and... boom, yeah, I'm just like... Yeah, exactly. I'm just sort of like, they'll see me in an alleyway and I'll have my little ghost outfit and I'll go... <laughs> and then just disappear. I see. And then just keep doing it. And then right. but never, never go... Don't, I don't. I wouldn't be weird about it. I don't go too close. Right. It's always from a distance. Right. And you then, just sort of and shimmy then, past. Yeah, yeah. And then, sort of like say like, I'm not enjoying this anymore. <laughs> Let's see other people. And then it lets them down gently. Good I see. Communicator. Yeah. Okay. But I'm Can a bit unhappy with Hinge at the moment. Well, not unhappy. Why? That I basically I did a I did a brand deal with them a year oh. ago, three days ago. A year ago. The ago, YouTube video. No, that wasn't actually Brandy. I don't know why they didn't sponsor that. I asked them to. Oh, anyway. Crazy um, and I got a, a year's free of Hinge X, Ooh, which I didn't realise. It's literally like pay to win, which is crazy for a dating app. What do you mean? Because like, you win? literally like get shown more attractive people. You get given <laughs> more like roses, which are like a thing you can send people, which means more. They don't really send them. They're kind of cringe. And you get oh, more like standouts. Okay. Your likes are like, that if you like someone, it's like sent to the top of their list. And all these other benefits. And it ran right. out. And then, and it's like 90 quid a month. It's like absurd. Maybe not 90. No. But a lot. I see. So I've, oh I've deleted God. it and I'm, I'm off. You're off. I'm off it. Are you on oh, Tinder or Hinge. Bumble or any I'm of I'm on the... nothing. Mm. That's very I'm good. I'm going pure... Okay, well, so then Solo I do have a bone to pick Soho with you. Vibes. Hanging around Soho vibes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hang around in the book sh corner of a bookshop. Oh, mm. you say bush? And look mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> hang around in a bush. I'm going to hang Soho. around in the corner of a bookshop until until Julia Roberts until wanders Julia past. Until Julia Roberts walks in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the new dating. Film. That's oh. the new dating app. Well, that would be nice. So I do have a bone to pick with you. Then, in that case, you say you haven't ghosted anyone. I think you have. <laughs> oh. And I think it might even be somebody <laughs> that you've worked with. <laughs> oh. Where's this going? <laughs> Arthur? Not Arthur. No. You wouldn't have ghosted Arthur. Come on. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It depends what the definition of ghosting is. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Is it all just a big bit? Was it all just a bit? A bit? Who are we talking about? A big bit. What does that mean? Was it all just for the content? No. There is somebody in this room. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's not me. <laughs> Arthur, meet Izzy. <laughs> we've met, we've met. Hi, Izzy. Hi. But you've met on Hinge as well. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> How do I know? Yeah. Come on, Izzy. What happened? I thought... Yeah. Come on, Izzy. You ghosted me on I didn't ghost oh, you. You did. I no, didn't ghost you. You did. We've seen the, we've seen the, we've seen the messages after. I think there has to be... Well, first of all, I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> nice. I... <laughs> At what point Poor did you get Arthur. to? Had you said hi? This is what was I mean. What was it? Three messages. That can't be a ghost. That, that doesn't, that doesn't add up in my head for a like ghosting definition you broke my heart oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah. Arthur I'm sorry this well, is this I, could what, be what very creepy <laughs> I changed my degree and got a job at the studio you got <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here <laughs> so yeah so after this uh, record today I think you should take Izzy out for a nice <laughs> meal <laughs> His breath smells like no, no. Yeah, now it's not it. the time. Now it's not the time. Is now not the time? Um, okay, but some other time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. I'll message you on later. Hinge. I'll redownload it, and we can organise it there. I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. bless her heart. <laughs> so there you go. That's great. Yeah. Well, do you yeah. usually work on this podcast? I don't know if you didn't know it was me. What? This I did. I knew it was you because you you said, and may I say this is an important bit of information, Izzy liked me. 
What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Anyway? I didn't initiate. So that makes it better in my head. <laughs> Does it? Does yeah. it? Who's the HR manager out of you guys? <laughs> Is this an app- it was something to do with the podcast or like, I think, didn't you say, I think I work with your mum? Yeah. And I said, I oh. just like replied like, yeah, what's she like? Or I've heard she's awful or something like that. <laughs> something like that. That's not very and nice. And never replied again. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I but would agree you... with Arthur. I don't think that's ghosting. Yeah, that's not ghosting. Oh. And what it is, is very professional. So sorry for being <laughs> a consummate, oh, a consummate okay. professional. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that's to be some sort of like reasonable expectation of a reply. Like a... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think you've got to really be... It's really unkind of you to not reply. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a kind of, oh, we and this is this, date is, this is another thing and... with, the, with the Hinge have just did a new update where if you haven't replied to eight people, you can't like more people. Oh, that's quite Which clever. is for me is awful. Oh, I don't, really? I don't talk to many people on there. I just get the gratification of a match and then leave it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, so... <laughs> Um, right. Okay. I now have to like talk to people on there. Frightful. Yeah. Okay. I was on eight. That's why I had to talk to. I'm joking. I'm joking. It was. I had Hinge X at the time. You were top of my priority likes. You were most compatible. Really? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but... Bless her. Sweet. Well, to be fair, at least now you know that he doesn't really talk to anyone. So the fact yeah. that you got one message. Yeah, there is that. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll take yeah. That, I'll that puts take you that among that. the yeah, upper yeah. echelons. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go, yeah. Go, yeah. Good point. Okay. We'll catch up. We'll catch up. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, Over dinner, perhaps, tonight? What is... Why don't we just have the date now? Swap Arthur out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You can meet his mum. Yeah, with the mum. <laughs> 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 it's mummy's boy. Lots of unexpected things have happened in the last week. Have they? I what feel like I've been happened? put on, just put, come here with just bombarded with shit. Oh, well, that I, yeah, you know, well, yeah, I have no that, control. Yeah. Well, no, I know, no, I know, I know. Yeah. But Arthur's here. Arthur's Arthur here. TV is here, mm. which mm. is always nice. Yeah. So. A couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, I was really doing badly at remembering anything. <laughs> Not a lot has changed. Mm. Um, and I was trying to come up with, come out with some philosophical sort of life quotes and just kept getting halfway through them and I couldn't remember the end. So this one, and I found it now, is you start with a bag full of luck and an empty bag of experience. The trick is to fill the bag of experience before you empty the bag of luck. Which is the mm. one I said last week, you said it wasn't that. Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> that is, isn't it? It is. I couldn't remember what you'd said because I haven't listened to it. Um, so here's another one. This one I think is very good. And I think... Um, Make sure you deliver is... it deliver it perfectly because then it can turn into edits. That's what Arthur's been going for recently. Is it? <laughs> On his podcast. Oh. He makes sure he delivers these great quotes that he planned oh, before. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm and just profound, naturally. Into, yeah. Well, this is why I think this is a good one for Arthur mm. TV. So it's good that he's here because okay. I didn't know he was going to be here. So this is one specifically for you, Arthur TV. Mm. A wise man doesn't say every single thing he thinks, but thinks every single thing he says. Mm. I like that one. I thought I you think might. I saw that on the wall in year four. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> you did not. No. You did not. Any more? I've got quite a few. Oh, great. Oh, keep them Let's, going. Yeah, Do you want them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are you just going to take the piss out uh, of me? Yeah, carry on. This one I think is how I would like to, this would be my mantra if I had one. Well, I suppose I have got one. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> Three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. The third is to be kind. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I think that's a bloody great mantra. <laughs> Why do you not get that? <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> you see, none of you are kind. You're all horrible humans. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that's such good. a good one. That has moved me, that one. It has what not. What does it mean to be kind? It means mm. be kind. Like, kindness is the... And in fact, there's another one. So, okay. 
Listen to this one then. <laughs> you cannot do a kindness too soon, for you never know how soon it will be too late. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Interesting. Interesting. No, but do doesn't that make sense to you? Seriously. Yeah, it's quite sweet. It's yeah, it's, it's sweet. but it's just not like it's just no, not it's... like you know. There's an, yeah, it's, it's not particularly it's not, it's not got a lot of meat to it. You know, it's not like. Oh. <clears throat> Arthur, you got any? You can so can we have some kind of philosophical philosophical rap? Well, battle? I'm curious. What, what do you think kindness is? There we go. You're about to get no, cooked, here, Mum. <laughs> no, I'm not going <laughs> to cook you. <laughs> Let him cook. Um, treating people how you would like to be treated yourself, treated with decency and honesty and humanity. Hmm. That's good. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know. Is that what most people would think? Kindness. Dealing with people in a kind of in a a human and genuine way, never never meaningfully hurting somebody. I would like to think that I would go through life never actually doing anything unpleasant on purpose to somebody. I obviously do it all the time uh, by accident. So I'm that's always... three mantras you've fucked up there. <laughs> <laughs> you've gone well, against quite... all three of them. What? You've gone against all three of the mantras. If you, if you, you mean all three of the mantras to to be kind, to be kind, oh, to be shut kind. Up. <laughs> That's not funny. Go not, away. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just no, we're having not, a debate here, mum. We're having a debate. No, we're not having a debate. You're just being irritating. <laughs> so you're just going on your phone, are you? I'm just seeing what Playing else I've got on here. But these are two. <laughs> <laughs> what? Arthur, what, what, what are we going to say anything <laughs> further on uh, kindness? What, what do you think kindness is? Yes, what do you think kindness is? No, yeah, I think, that's a, I think that was a good description. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that was very good. See, nah. That's not very kind. No, it's not. I've no. gone off being kind. I've decided now I'm going to be a bitch for the rest of the episode. <laughs> wow. Why do you think it's important to be kind as well? <laughs> if we're getting into <laughs> philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would it not be? Why would it be? Let's say you're speaking to someone who has no real concept of what it means to be kind or why it's important. An alien, they come down and you go, we're all kind to each other. And they go, why? Because I would imagine that's one of the first steps into making every, or keeping everybody content and happy. But why do you care whether someone else is content or happy? Because it feeds your soul. Feeds their soul or yours? No, yours. Oh, so would to you know say that other people are happy and so content? Is it, would you say it's slightly selfish? Oh. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> You're being kind to them because it makes you feel good? No, because being kind to somebody else is hopefully, I would imagine, going to make them feel good. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So knowing that you've made somebody else feel good is also going to make yourself feel good. So yeah. two people have felt good. So that's a win-win, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why are you so awkward? <laughs> no, not, I'm not. It's, not, I'm it's just... not a selfless act, though, is it? Okay, what's a selfless act? Well, I don't know. Is there such, oh, thing, come on, is there such act? thing Well, I don't bloody know. You brought it up. Well, no, I, I, I didn't, did I? I just said it's not yes, selfless. Yes, you did. I didn't, but I, you asked me to give an example. Okay, all right. I don't know. Um, yeah, well, I mean, what... It, bleh. Telling you how to use now, quick, this is quick a, this time is a every real, fucking this is Sunday. A, oh, that's telling, rude. Telling what? Telling you how to use quick time every Sunday. I've got better at doing that. Yeah, you have. I have. It doesn't bring me any joy. Oh, soz. Oh, there's a bit of an atmosphere in here. There you go. Well, that's where, <laughs> that's where getting into philosophy gets you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you're being in front of a bullet to save someone? Well, Who that you want... is, of course, totally selfless. Is it, though? No, it's not. But then I'd feel like a Hang hero. On. If I was going to jump in You'd front of... You'd be dead, you burk. But yeah, think, of, think how great that would treat my legacy. You know, I'd, I'd die a hero. And you're doing something because you want the outcome. You want your mother to survive more than you. Like if I jump in front of a bullet to save my mum, I'm going there. I'm I'm setting, you know, it's not entirely selfless because I would rather I die than my mum. So I'm making a choice that I want. It's not truly selfless. Oh, mm. mm. well, I'm not sure about that. Not that there's not altruism in there, but it, there's some, there's an element of self-serving in there. But how can you be self-serving <clears throat> if you end up dead? 
because it's your choice. You'd rather end up dead than your mum end up dead or whoever you're jumping in front but of. But also, of. surely you can't make a rational decision at that moment in time when you're put in a, you know, with a split second decision. I, I can either, it's a, you just do it, don't you? You don't stand around thinking, Ooh, now. Do you not think your brain is really quickly just calculating that that's the preferred outcome? <sighs> hmm. Anyway, um, one to ponder, not to... Yeah. Not to... Um, what's everyone's favourite meal deal? <laughs> I used to love a Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> meal deal. Why is that funny? Like a Tesco meal deal. Oh. Yeah. To be fair, KFC oh, do, do, like, um, do do a meal deal. I thought you meant like a meal deal, like in a, you know... Um, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a Kentucky Fried or McDonald's or Wimpy or whatever. Wimpy. Wimpy. Blimey. Do What's they still wimpy? exist? I think Do there are exist? a couple of them knocking about. Oh, I used to love a Wimpy. What's mm. a Wimpy? A Wimpy was sort of before McDonald's arrived here. And um, there used to be one next to the card shop where I worked when I was 14. And I used to go and have my lunch sitting in the Wimpy with my little hamburger. Nice. It was lovely. Oh. I mean, it was gross, actually, looking mm. back. But... I loved it. Can you remember the first time you had a McDonald's? Or like yes, the first I can shop remember when opened? it opened in Uxbridge. Yeah. Blimey. Went on my bike. And was it nice? It was fabulous. Thought it was the height of sophistication. Has it gotten better or worse over time? I've no idea. I can't eat it anymore because I'm oh, gluten free. Gluten free. Well. Oh, yeah. But it does mean I can't eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, I used to love a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, you can't have KFC chicken. because of the, because of the bread coating. crumbs and the coating. Oh, that's a tragedy. It, I think it is. Yeah. It's a bloody tasty thing. Yeah, it really isn't is. Isn't it? Mm. Lip smacking. I'm not big on what KFC. I often Lip think, smacking. I find it odd that we don't get, uh, like, it's not worth it to you to buy the KFC and, like, chew it and eat it and then just spit it out. Do you know what I mean? Because your mouth so enjoys that it, but, like, no one ever does discussed. stuff like that. It has been discussed when I've really, really wanted something. Mm. And Martin will often, my husband will often say, we'll just chew it and spit yeah. it out. Yeah. I don't know. Would it's that not work? really something anyone that ever does, uh, is no. it? But you're thinking if you're dieting, nice. you technically can, can just have a load of chocolate, mm. load of yeah, sweets, just, just as long as you don't swallow it. But but do you get the same joy? I no, don't you know. don't. Yeah, you do like a, a big chunk of it. Yeah. But it's just weird that Maybe it's we not worth it. Maybe we should try that one day. Mm. I guess it's like food wasted as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Some people do mm. smell nice stuff, don't they? Like there are some people on TikTok that are obsessed with sort of like They'll, they'll have a salad in front of them hmm. and they'll sniff chocolate and then eat the salad. Oh. And it's kind of like the same way Air Up works. Right, yeah, yeah. Have you had Air, Air Up? up? What's so there are these sort of bottles that as you like sip it, they've got these little discs in the top and it bub like it bubbles through a sort of scent. So when you're sipping water, you get a bit of scented bubbles in and the flavour makes it kind of taste like you're drinking a slightly fla flavoured drink. So you're drinking just water, but it can taste a bit like Fanta or... Oh, and it's surprisingly saying, effective. Why don't you just buy a Fanta? Well, if you don't want to have the sugar, you don't want to have the oh, sweetness. Just that smell. Kind of oh, what? Oh, uh, and there's nothing harmful in the smelly stuff they've put in there. No, and they're sponsoring today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be something you might bad well in there. <laughs> there's got to be something smelly. I mean, there's got to be something in the smell that's not good for you, chemical-wise. Maybe, Surely. but maybe just not but as bad as... better than like, sugars actually and... Drinking oh, yeah, them. probably. Yeah. I mean, I'm lucky I don't like... Oh, Fanta's disgusting. Fanta is disgusting. Do you like Orangina? No, I don't like any Fanta of Fanta lemon things. on holiday? No. Yeah, Fanta, Fanta lemon. lemon. I prefer the lemony ones. The orangey ones are bleh, horrible. Do you oh. like orange? A real orange? Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Very fascinating indeed. Mm. I'm off the wine at the moment. Are you? Mm. Why? How many days Two. clean? <laughs> <laughs> so... It's been since two the, hours. Yeah, since the weekend then. <laughs> two days. That's all right. Good job. Yeah, thank you. What's the target? Have you got like a, are you going for a certain period? Five days. <laughs> 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 I could do that. And then, you know, maybe have some at the weekend. Maybe Fair try enough. and do the, you know, try and do the week. The weekdays. Because wow. I get very stressed during the week. And so I always think, oh God, I want to have a glass of something. But it doesn't help, does it? It does. It oh. helps me. Doesn't yeah. it help you? Does we, it? We've actually been trying. Mm. Oh, Ooh. the philosophy begins again. Yeah, there we are. Does it really? <laughs> you see? Does it help? No, but we've been trying to get more into wine because we have, we have these. Have, have you spoken? 
about this on a podcast or anything. Our dinners? Yeah. No. Oh, we, what dinners? George, Chris, Maybe Arthur we, and I yeah. are doing this thing where we say, yeah, once a month, every month, one of us picks a nice restaurant to go to Aww. and we have a nice, and we just go out for a meal. Lovely. And we have a couple of drinks and we're trying yeah. to become a bit more sophisticated, go to nicer places. Yes. Maybe get a bit dressed up. But we've got it wrong both times. Oh, have you? Oh, I love well, it. Yeah. Oh, the we... first time I got slated and I, and I really oh. like try, I was like, I asked like a lot of people who I thought were like very like knowledgeable London people and yes. cool and like, and they're like, go to this place. Right. Like all three of these people said it, so I booked it, and it just was. I mean, it was a very oh, nice restaurant, I lovely restaurant. What, um, the food was just a bit bizarre in, in tiny portions. Something oh, it was one of those people. I don't with that. really know what I'm eating, and I'm really hungry, oh, and I've just been served no, my fifth desperate. and final yeah. dish. Of, um, it's like, and it's tiny. Yeah. Oh no, so that's that's the wine was nice. I remember I had the natural wine there, and that was really nice. Yeah. Um, it was natural and then, wine. Uh, wine with the skin on. Yeah. As in the grapes, the grapes have been left. made with the, made oh. with grapes with skin on, and it's like orange. Mm. Oh, yes, it's lovely. I've heard about that. I think I've spoken. Have we about spoken that about that here. before? Possibly. Oh, God. Um, and then the next time was like was Chris's month, hmm. and he put like a bloody South African South African grill grill, and it was just Ooh. all this meat. But it was just shit. I thought it was, it was quite oh, interesting because really? we got to like try ostrich and crocodile, crocodile. and stuff, but. Ooh. It was a yeah. little bit dry and bland, to be honest. Yeah, all was the meat, it? yeah, cold and, and a bit the cold. The broccoli, just bloody microwave or broccoli. Wasn't yeah, it was it? just plain. Yeah, oh, and it was, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. eighty quid a head. Oh, for my microwave, sake. my bloody broccoli. We did have a, a nice bottle of wine. We did again. The wine's been good each time. Okay, it's like good for that. Um, yeah, but the company and the food, crap, crap. Mm. Well, I think I need to come. Why can't I come? Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> Is it time for that. a game? Yeah, let's play a game. Let's. Of none other than two lies and the truth. Not that. Right, Mum and Arthur TV. Ooh. Before we take a break, let's play a classic game of two lies and the truth. I'm going to tell you three things. Yes. And you have to guess which is the truth. I'll give you the answer in part two. Excellent. Are you ready? Yes. Recently, an animal called Mu Deng has found international fame after images went viral, taking its home in a zoo in Thailand. But what does its name translate to? Oh, for heaven's sake. Is it A, wobbly sausage? <laughs> B, flappy beef? Oh, stop it. And C, bouncy pork? Oh, I thought they were gonna, there was going to be at least one that was sort of deep and meaningful. Hmm. You'll get a bonus point if you can guess what the animal is as well. I'm sure oh. Arthur will know it. Yeah, I know this one. But you know I'm, it. I'm a big Moodang well, fan. I know it as well. I'm a big, I... I'm a big Moodang fan. Oh, well, as well. that's not fair. Well, the, well, the, well he, Arthur wouldn't have been here. I would have known. It's the whole point of the fucking podcast, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, Wait, do we guess now? <laughs> no, no, no. We'll we guess in part two. We're going to go have now. a break now. I've got lunch. Um, so I think it's Jack of Potato Day actually in the office. Is it Jack so of Potato we'll Day? So we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Bye. It's mummy's boy. <laughs> what a lovely Jack of Potato we all just had. Oh, Arthur. We're not actually Yours eating Yours is full we're... of no. pickles though. Pickles. Don't remind me about pickles. No. <laughs> Before the break, I'm not yes. sure if you guys can remember, but we were playing <laughs> Two Lies and the Truth. <laughs> Are you ready to give your answer? Let's recap on the question. Recently, an animal called Mu Deng has found international fame after images went viral, taking its home at a zoo in Thailand. But what does its name translate to? A, wobbly sausage. B, flappy beef. C, bouncy pork. And you'll get a bonus point if you can guess which type of animal it is. Mum, what do you think it is? Well, I think they're all ridiculous translations. I've really hoped that one of them was going to be sort of a romantic and elegiac mm. thing. Like what? great word. Yeah, it was like, good, wasn't it? Yeah. Like I don't um, know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, sun on water. Succulent or steak. No. Or steamed ham. No, not no. I didn't think they were no. any of them were gonna have um, anything to do with the with I think this food. is harder for Lisa because she doesn't know what animal it is. Exactly. And I wonder if that helps. 
Yes. Does yours, do you know? Yeah. Yes, he's already said that. Yeah, I'm a big Mood Egg Keep enjoyer. But, and you know what the translation is? No. No. But is Mood it, egg. I, I, that's what I say. I, was, I wonder if knowing the oh, animal, right. because it helps. Would, mm. I, so not, what was it? Nothing springs to mind. Flappy beef no. is the one in the middle. <laughs> yeah, flappy beef is in the, <laughs> is really, is yeah, always, it's always in the okay. middle, I think. <laughs> Absolutely gross. Just... <laughs> And the wobbly sausage is just above it. <laughs> um, I think wobbly sausage. Oh, no, wait. No, I don't. I think bouncy pork. I was going to say bouncy pork. I, think bouncy I was going to say is... bouncy pork. I have no idea why. Bouncy pork. And any guesses on the um, on the animal? I think he's a pig. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> the answer is bouncy pork. Yes! Yes! Well yes! done. Oh, I haven't got a hand near you. And the animal is a mudeng is a pygmy hippopotamus. Oh, <laughs> sorry, got your head. <laughs> pygmy <laughs> hippopotamus living oh, in Khao Kiao Open Zoo in Siracha Kumburi Province, Thailand. Little menace as well. An is absolute he? little menace. I think you'll like him, Mum. Oh, yeah, I he's would a little like him. She, her, her. Pardon? So her. Is it? It's Mudeng. a her. So her. Yeah. She gained notability in September 24 as a popular internet meme after images of her went viral online. Her name was chosen through a public poll with over 20,000 people voting for Mudang, translating to bouncy pork. And we have a video of Mudang. Oh, yes. I'm so yes. glad. Mudang, Mudang time, come Mudang. on. Oh. Mudang is the current it girl on the internet. Oh, She's a baby pygmy hippo. And ever since zookeepers at a Thailand zoo started uploading videos of her, people have become hooked on this hippo. Her name loosely translates to bouncy pig in Thai, which was chosen by popular vote. And visitors to the zoo have almost doubled since her birth. Videos of Mudang have been racking up millions of views and people want to be just like her, oh. with makeup looks and clothes inspired makeup by looks. Her. But fame oh my comes God. at a cost and large cards <gasps> at the zoo have All been throwing people. water and other things at her to try and get her attention. So the zoo has made smaller groups to get five minutes of Mudang viewing time to make sure she stays safe. Mm -hmm. As experts believe, there's less than 3,000 pygmy hippos left in the wild. Wow. She's so cute. So I want to see them. I love the video of her going up to bite that guy's leg. Yeah. Am I right in thinking we've got oh. pygmy hippos in the London Zoo? Or are they just normal hippos? Mm. I've only been to London Zoo know. once and the hippos were not visible. They're actually pygmy so. hippos. Oh, were they not visible? Oh, that's a Must shame. Must have been sleeping. They yeah. are pygmy. In London when they're pygmy yeah. hippos. Oh, really? Yeah. Which is a trip to the zoo? Oh, yeah. oh, a trip to yeah. the zoo. Wouldn't that be fun? My little sister's coming to stay this weekend and I think we're going to go to the zoo. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Perfect. Right. Right. Well done. I've you got both it, got, well, it right. I've got it right. You got it right twice, twice in a and row. And it's because Arthur because TV's of Arthur here. TV. And it's been pig related both times. Peppa Pig and the pig me hippo. Wow. That's a very good point. Yeah. Oink. 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 Yeah. Well, your reward is we get to have some mum can we talk correspondence oh, ooh, oh lucky oh. old us right shall we dive in yes let's question one from sky blue oh Lovely great name, name. poetic hi arthur lisa and atv i have ooh. a story that plagues me every day and i haven't actually ever told anyone but i just need to get it off my chest oh dear. recently i was at a house party with a group of my friends and a boy that i've been speaking to was there i really fancied him and we had been and we have been speaking every day for about a month as the party is getting on we're all having a great time having a snog oh. etc and we're both getting pretty drunk, so me and this boy sneak off into a very small bathroom under the stairs. Things start to heat up and I end up going down on him. But because of the lack of the space, we are in a very precarious position because Ooh. he is too tall to stand up fully in this bathroom. During the act, I end up slipping and his dick hits me right at the back of the throat. And I throw up all oh, over this man's Christ. dick. I was not most, expecting it to get no, this raunchy. Neither was I. It was the most mortifying moment of my life. And to make it worse, he went back and told all of his guy friends what I had done. Oh, oh what a twat. He also never Stick properly move. talked to me again after. And I actually think about this daily. Do you have any advice on how to not let this bother me? Sky blue. P.S. Thank you so much. So much? Sucks. Sorry. <laughs> P.S. Thank you so much. I also just wanted to say that I love... I love this pod so much as I've not had the best relationship with my parents and it generally brings me so much joy. Thank you. Oh, I feel a bit sick. 
Oh, I really yeah, didn't I want did, to hear yeah, that. I didn't, I didn't think that was going there. Sick. I also love how it's not an anon as well. Yes. Sky Blue. Sky Blue, you're a we brave appreciate girl. appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and actually, until you said about him going off and telling everyone, I was just thinking, oh, for heaven's sake, gross, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know. But actually, the fact he did that, what a wanker. And yeah. just forget it. Forget it. it. It's almost you know, like a blessing in disguise, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because like really, oh, you don't like a normal person would just be like, oh, that's so... But like you laugh, right? You just go yeah. like, well, hope so. I can't believe that happened. Yeah. Yeah. You would really hope so. But mm. and just instantly shows what it showed himself to be a Indeed. massive twat. So yeah. you've kind of won. And, maybe. and you're like, you feel even better because you're like, and you were covered in sick as well. How embarrassing for you, you big yeah. dick. Yeah. Yeah, you tell You should him. just yeah. like, yeah, you should just change. Just ch It's like you, you actually, maybe it wasn't even his dick. It was like your, your body telling yourself that this guy's horrible mm. and you're just like you're retching at the very at the very thought, thought of, yeah. of him maybe as your souls intertwined yeah it was your souls <laughs> intertwining and it had nothing to do with that with the blowjob filthy yeah um mm. yeah and yeah just don't let it bother you queen yeah just be like hey that's a win for me at least you weren't at least the sick wasn't on you, no. you know? yeah he, yeah i'd be more embarrassed if someone was sick on my penis as as opposed to the other way around. As if you were sick on someone what? else's yeah, penis. I would, yeah, I would, yeah. You know. Sorry? I don't know why he's going out and telling everyone is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, no, it's just like, ridiculous you know, just that he did that. Keep it, keep it to yourself. Keep yeah. it to yourself. Immature. Um, and, and Sky Blue, now that you've told us, don't yeah, tell anyone yeah. else. Just, keep, <laughs> yeah, just forget it, it now. and move on. And, yeah, um, move on. Yeah, and thanks for watching the podcast and for the lovely comment at the end. Yeah, bless You that. really brought it back. Um, okay. <laughs> Question two from Ella. Hey, Arthur, Lisa and Arthur. I've been thinking recently about getting a job, saving money. And by the time I earn enough, I want to move to England and start influencing full time. Oh. Like what Arthur does with George and Arthur, etc. Or film football stuff. But I'm only 15 and worried if, I'll have, I'm worried if I'll have enough time because I want to move there for my 18th birthday. I honestly don't know how to start with all of it. Moving to England to be a professional footballer is a dream of mine, but I desperately need advice. Blimey. Hang on, what, does she want to be a footballer or an influencer? Or a bit I think of she wants to be sort of a professional influ in like influencer. Chris MD type. Like a, yeah, Chris MD type. Football challenges. And, oh, I see. Um, oh. Ella, that's a only... big... Mm. That's a big, um, big life change, but it's a big dream and we like big dreams here on this podcast, but I would say I was very similar to you in that I, I don't know where you live and I don't know how big of a move this would be, but I was my whole, when I was like 12 or how old is she now? 15. 15. Oh, yeah. Still 15, 12 to 15. I was honestly like, I want to. Because I was watching the Yogs cast. Do you remember my obsession I with the Yogs do. cast? Do you know the Yogs cast? Oh my god! You never watched the Yogs cast. Oh my gosh! Wow. Anyone else watch the Yogs cast? No. Okay. They were big wow. Minecraft YouTubers. Oh my god! We even and they went had to they, visit them in Bristol. Yeah, yeah. They had these offices in Bristol, and I said, "I'm going to Bristol University, yeah. and I'm going to work for the Yogs cast. I'm going to be in the Yogs cast." That was what I wanted it was. until I just grew up a bit. <laughs> But so I'm saying, if you still want to, I wouldn't. I wouldn't move so early. You know, yeah. you might grow out of this. I would, say, I would say it might not even necessarily be a grow out of because, yeah, it's not. I, I I don't know. I think one of the cool things about like social media nowadays is that there's a lot of trades mixed into one. Mm. So I think when we were younger and going, oh, I want to grow up and be an influencer. I think our parents might have had a tendency to be like. Barely anyone makes it as an influencer. You know, yeah. it's not really a real job and that kind of stuff. Whereas now, everyone's you know, a bloody influencer. Not, not only do obviously is it a, a bit more like yeah, people are a bit more aware of it as a job, but there are loads of other jobs you can get that are related mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, very so true. If, yeah, if she's out there make if you want to go, you know, make a bunch of content in your spare time, but maybe also go study media at university. So either you can use it in your career as an influencer. Yeah, or and you'll be learning skills to help you become an influencer. Or if that doesn't work out or you change your mind or something, you can go, oh, I, c I still have all of these skills that I've developed pursuing that, that I can now use to be a graphic designer or be a podcast producer or be a YouTube editor. And so I think when you're that young as well, like keeping as many doors open Absolutely. as possible is like the most important thing. Yeah. So 
do well I think in your to, studies. I think she, she's put a bit of a uh, she's put a bit of a time limit on it, hasn't she? Mm, she said, by the time true. I'm eighteen, yeah, yeah. I need to have moved to England and I need to be doing this. Yeah. Whereas actually, she, she doesn't have to be yeah. so sort of fixed on that. Yeah, you're young. Mm. Pick up Just, all the skills. Yeah, I mean, get the skills. Have it as a part time thing. Start up yeah. a TikTok or a YouTube channel with shorts. Probably the best way to go. Yeah. And just start and then just go chat to a couple of YouTubers and be like, hey, can I make you a thumbnail or two? And they'll probably come back and be like, I'll tweak this for revisions or be like, can mm. I edit for you? Can I make a TikTok for you or post it's your good, own and just pick up the skills? See where it takes you. You might love it, might hate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well said. Well said, that man. Yeah. Can you cut my bit? no that was very good thank you ella and good luck yeah best of luck absolutely pursue those pursue those dreams ella md in future maybe Mm. who knows yes absolutely good on her (laughs) sounds like she's gonna marry chris really what i meant yeah no no no. she might be a bit young for him i think yeah yeah just a bit Mm. Mm. um well that's the end of uh, Mum, Can We Talk Correspondence. Is it? But we have got... Oh. Mum, I've got something to tell you. Oh, Lordy mercy of me. Of course. Oh, my God. It's not that bad. Where is now, it? Now, this is where I give our guests the opportunity to have that difficult conversation that they've always put off having with their own parents and have it with my mum instead. Maybe you broke the TV yourself years ago and blamed it on a sibling or snuck out the house when she thought you were asleep. Whatever it is... This is your chance to come clean. Arthur, please treat my mum exactly how you would your own. So, remember Grandad. Oh, how could I forget? Yeah. Um, sort of in his later years, stayed at home a lot, was a bit, yes. you know, a bit less nimble. Didn't go out on his sailing boat as much. Oh, so it was a always shame. just a little, just a little wooden sailing boat. And it was always just docked in that bay, wasn't it? it right was. in the middle of town. And um, great boat, though. We used to, great boat, lovely. Great boat. It was a lovely, lovely boat. quaint little sailing boat. Mm. And we used to go down and have a picnic on the boat and stuff and just use the outdoor decking and stuff. And so many times we'd rock up and be like, oh my goodness, some, some miscreants have been on here again. And <gasps> there's sort of, you know, the occasional Coke can and just rubbish everywhere. And oh, look, they've even, maybe they've even tried to climb in through the window. And oh, what's all this? Arthur. I think it's probably time to tell you that it was right next to the skate park and I thought it was really (gasps) cool. And to impress the other cool skaters, I was like, I have a boat. And because (gasps) there's a little key code that you used to type in, I used to sneakily look when you type it in and remember it. So when I go little my days in the skate park, I'd actually be like, come on, guys, come on my boat. Come on my boat. Come have a little lunch with me on my yacht. You little horror. (laughs) Oh my word. Blimey. And do you know me. what's really upsetting what? is that a couple of times some of my friends had said to me, I think that Arthur is up to no good on the boat. And what? I absolutely stuck my neck out and said, No, my Arthur would not do that. And now how ridiculous do I look? Oh, I'm really That's it. sorry. You're never coming home again. What? No. <laughs> That's oh my it. God. Forget it. Oh. Well, Furious. I'm sorry, but we did sell the boat. So that's not the point. Uh, you probably marked it down in price with all the mess. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Still waiting on my share though. <laughs> Got oh. oh yeah, that, that'll happen. <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah. You see, cleaning fees probably racked up a yes, little bit. Yes, indeed they? they did. All the labour. Oh dear. Worth it though. Great party. Did you have fun? I did. <laughs> That's that is right pretty then. cool. Really, Aww. realistically, you remember what Grandad was like? What, what he, he wouldn't wanted? Have minded. He would have wanted that. Yeah, he would. Yeah. yeah, but I should have tied up after. Yeah, you should. I was a disrespectful youth, and I apologise. Okay, yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take that. Wow, that was okay. Yeah, sorry well about that. Well, mm. I hope your real parents don't watch this. <laughs> exactly. They're in real trouble. They will be. My mum's sick of me. She doesn't watch my stuff anymore. She can't. No, Arthur. Well, to be fair, I don't watch his stuff. (laughs) It's true. It's too much, isn't it? We put too much stuff out. Wow. Another video. One video every two months. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah but I don't want to watch you just getting pissed and doing. Oh, silly they are things. great. Though, oh, they're Catherine really Millet. wholesome. You'd really love the like... deal one. You'd love the sandwich one. You've not watched the deal, Pia. Yeah, she'd love it. Your heart would, would melt. I? It's so oh, sweet. Yeah. Is it? I yeah. made a whole pub full of people cry with my angelic tones. Yeah. Did you? He had that. I did. The local town. There's a, a statue of him erected outside the pub. 
Really? He actually did get a job I offer. I did get a job offer. To do what? He took wanted me to come down every phenomenal. Friday and sing every Friday night and stay <laughs> in the hotel above the pub. Oh, you a should A girl do it. actually just cried. From, just from my James Blunt impression. To him. I was literally singing? doing James Blunt. I was literally going up. <laughs> I did, what did I do? Three yeah, encores as yeah. James did Blunt. You? It was mental. But the oh, sun okay. sets on Deal Pier and we're all there yeah, at the end of a long day and we're like, what a great time we've yeah. had out here, guys. Yeah. Oh, what a sweet time. I shall and then watch Arthur it said, on the train I've the got a home. boat near here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want a party? <laughs> Anyone want a party? <laughs> um, how long would it take you to get to Jersey from Deal on a, on a boat? Why do you want to go Co- to Jersey? A couple of hours. Oh, is that where you lived? Yeah. Is that where we lived? Sorry. Yeah. Oops. New Jersey, I've forgotten sorry. that. <laughs> yeah, Jersey, the Isle. Off oh, the coast of, course, of France. Yeah, I did know yeah. that. Yep. I did know that. A good few hours, actually. Maybe a, maybe a yeah. full day sailing away. Yeah. Blimey. Eek. Crossing the English Channel. Well, it's time for us to sail. Sail away. away. Sail away. Sail Metaphorically. Away. Enya. Great song. Exactly. Sail away. Fantastic sail music. Away, sail away. Copyright again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every time. Thank you very much for coming on yet again, Arthur. Aww. Thanks for having Maybe we'll me. Just have you all the time. Thank just you. Just come every Thanks week. Thanks for forgiving me. That's okay. I can sleep well for the first you time ever. You can for the first time in years. Tell There's me a how. sort of Damocles dangling no. yeah, above yes, my head. Let him, Tell let me how, know please. how to do oh. it. Yeah. Oh. Still got the demons I'm dealing with. Both the real and the mental. Anyway, always remember new episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give us a message on WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. It's Mummy's Boy.